and bring in Gentiles who eat pork because he has an international mission to all tribes, tongues, and nations that would include pork eating Gentiles like you and me. What, well, is it, what does it say on screen here? This is after Mark. Hold 7, on, hold on. Matthew 23. What's that? What does it say on screen? This is in chronologically. This is after Mark 7's statement. Mm -hmm. and this is in Matthew 23. And Jesus is speaking to the crowds and he's telling them the scribes and Pharisees sit in the chair of Moses. Whatever they tell you to do, comply with it all. But do not do as they do, for they say things and don't do them. Do you think the Pharisees were telling people it's OK to eat unclean foods? No, exactly. I Yeshua think they were is directly telling about it. Brother, wait, a minute, now, people, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. On the, yeah, Look, they were elevating. He's really telling you right here in the passage to and, do everything they read from the law of Moses, but don't yeah. do their hypocritical behavior because they don't do what they yeah. read. Okay. Instead, we disagree. We disagree on an interpretation of the passage. I think you're not seeing the plain text, and you you just you 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 refuse to think that Jesus has the authority to amend a law. Jesus told us himself, he's the high priest and the judge of the yeah. law. He's okay. not going to change it. He does his father's behavior. Okay. He actually came and only does what the father told him to do. This is John 7, 14. If we go to Ezekiel okay. 44. So Brian, we Brian I think you can eat pork. Sean says you can't. Do you have any other questions? Okay. I, I just, it, we're not going to get any further because we, we took, we looked at a very simple passage and I, I just don't think you're, taking it for what it says and that's fine we disagree yeah. what other you would, you would not have been sinless just to go and say hey you guys can go eat eat unclean foods when that was literally called transgression of the law okay what else anything else brian yeah in most of paul's writings he's battling traditions outside of god's commandments and whatnot yep, yep. so like so like uh, uh you know the church uses, you know, Colossians 2.16 all the time. But then the header right before that says freedom from human rules. And I think that's an accurate statement of what he's dealing with. Human traditions. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, he actually says it. I mean, that's, I think you're absolutely right. Yeah. So when I study Paul and I look mm -hmm. into it in depth, it just seems like he's never contradicting the, uh, the commandments. But. Oh, look, Colossians 2.16. Oh, yeah, now I can eat pork. Well, but listen, says, to, what he said. Judge and meet listen to what he says. He says, let no one pass judgment. I feel like what I have to do right now is not let you pass judgment on me, Sean, because it says, let no one pass judgment on you in questions of food and drink or with regard to festival or is new moon talking or about, Sabbath. Is he talking to believers that he's expecting them to do it or... Yeah, he's, I don't he's know. counseling his believers that he made, his converts he made. He's he's discipling them. Yeah, I'm not passing judgment, brother. I'm just this is just one disciple to another disciple saying I I would do the behavior of the father and not try to think that we have the authority to change it. And Yeshua didn't change it. He said he didn't change it. We he told us to do the law. The son. If you know the son, you know the father, right? Yeah, we no one's seen God. Yeah, he's, did the Messiah the eat pork? Son who has made him known, right? Did, did the Messiah eat pork? Uh definitely not. Okay, do that then. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep eating pork because he because okay. the Messiah <laughs> declared all foods clean. No, he didn't, brother. No, he didn't. He um, did. So yeah, that's what he did. He did. Yeah. Mark seven nineteen. Everyone listening, you're blessed to go eat pork. Did you guys know that in Psalm one forty two, Psalm one nineteen forty two, and verse sixty, it says that God's laws, His judgments, statutes, and commandments are eternal. Mm -hmm. Do you know that so, it says in the first I quoted from Hebrews that his covenant is eternal? Well, that's that's not what I'm saying, brother. You're, you're dodging. I know. But, yeah, I mean, you're, you're dodging. Just like, you're dodging. The laws, the laws are eternal. I'm not dodging. I'm not yeah. dodging. If the laws are eternal, mm -hmm. do you feel that it would be um, in line with the Torah to come kill us because we may not have kept the Sabbath? That's not the, that's not my position in the law, brother. You have to know the law before you throw that kind of like. Well, no, that's a good question. Statement. No, it's not. Let me tell you why. Yeah. The position of the judges and the priests were the one that decided and disputed matters. Moses even chose them in Exodus 18. We see them chosen again in Numbers. This was the decision of the, the judges and the priests first and then the okay. elders of the people second. So we don't have anyone, that judicial system. right? We're now. not in that system. We're literally not in that type of setup because we're dispersed as was prophesied. So there are no Levite judges that are over me in authority in this current dispersion, right? When that time returns, 
and this and the new the kingdom of God comes down and you and me are in the Melchizedek order ministering the law alongside Yeshua, we may have to make that judgment, Keegan. So you might have to kill me if, if no, you, you you completely didn't hear a thing I said, brother. You didn't hear a thing I said, man. Why would you ask me a make, question and just ignore say, me? You would say we would make that judgment, not you would. I, brother, I said, look, once we get to the, the kingdom of heaven, you and I are made priests to rule and reign with Christ. Part of that reigning concept and ruling concept is that just like the, the priests of, of the old, they're judges among the people. They judge disputes amongst the law and cases brought to them when people transgress the law. And they had to make a decision whether they wanted to apply the punishment of the law or not. And they would make an evaluation based on the Torah, the law. So you and I are going to be doing that when we're priests who rule and reign during the millennial reign as we interact with all the people outside the kingdom of heaven who are repopulating the earth. For a thousand years, we get to do that. So no, it would not be contextually appropriate. It would not be theologically appropriate for right now for, for any believer to try to stone another believer according to a transgression of the Torah. That's not how it works, brother. We you know, have I, to didn't, keep I didn't contents. expect you would say yes. I was just curious with, with saying the law is eternal. But no, no, that makes sense what you're saying.